Kuala PG, Maloy Lele to you if you're joining us via our YouTube channel. Now don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give this video a big thumbs up. This is part two of my interview with Tonga's Princess Royal. Her Royal Highness Princess Salote Mafilio Pilolevu Tuita when she visited Fiji for the Blake family reunion that was hosted at the Grand Pacific Hotel here in Suva. I like, I like, as I told you, conservative dress. But I also like to, um, to dress in seasonal colors. For instance, I, I went to boarding school in Auckland, and, and we were taught um, that seasonal colors would be, um, for spring, it would be uh, uh, pastel colors. You know? uh, for summer, um, uh, very vibrant colors, and for autumn, of uh, colors that would uh, depict the, uh, the fall and browns and oranges and so forth. And then for Christmas, of course, you've got your reds and your greens and your golds. So um, my boarding school influenced me in that way. Unfortunately, we don't have four seasons in Tonga, but fortunately we can wear um, all four season colors year round. I come from a very um, large, and a very close family. And ever since I was um, a young girl, my mother's many sisters and cousins um, abroad used to send dresses for me to wear as an only girl, slightly fortunate in that, in that way. Um, but I, I like actually prints, uh, mostly cotton prints, um, traditionally. But in formal occasions, I like uh, block colors, one color, single colors. Um, yes and no. Um, on occasions, I do consult um, uh, mostly relatives and friends of mine who are in the fashion business. And then, um, but I find shopping fun. I like visiting sales. And um, um, particularly in the United States, who who seem to have clothes that fit the tongue and build. Um, but I, I, I think I listen to my children. I have four daughters who are very interested in fashion and who dress absolutely differently from me and are always trying to influence my, my way of dressing. But I find it rather um, uncomfortable sometimes. <laughs> Yes, I do, uh, but not living in Tonga. I have, um, uh, in Fiji, for instance, I, I wear a lot of um, the House of Koila, my niece. And um, in New Zealand, I've, I have, there's a young Tongan designer there called Bo Bakapu, and um, he's launching his own brand in January next year in Auckland. But, but the good thing about relatives is because you can influence um, them by saying, I like that, I don't think I, I want to wear that. So both Koila and, and Bo, they design things for me that they think that I like. And then whenever I see them, they ask whether, would you like to wear this? Or Well, it was easy. When my mother was um, alive, um, she, her, she was born in May and her, her um, birthday jewel is emerald, green. So um, my, my family and I decided to, to make them. When we first started talking about the first reunion, which was held in Tonga on my mother's um, 90th birthday a few years ago, um, we had a meeting, because my mother was very close to the Blake relations. We had a meeting and I said, I think uh, this reunion, we should have a different colors so that we can tell who comes from which line. Uh, with such a huge family as the Blake family. Uh, so I said, well, I would like to choose for Martha Annie's line, Emerald Green. Of course, we had um, Martha Annie descendants turning up in all sorts of different shades of what they thought was Emerald Green. And then I think the rest of the um, families who were represented in Tonga, the rest of the lines, 
had, had chosen their colors. Um, but, but that's how the green came about. 